Hey guys, guys, the magic back again, and wanted to go over um, the $10 account that I'm working on and the recent Splinterlands news on the chart that's just gotten everybody in a tizzy. Um, the SPS um, requirements for uh, staking. Um, so as you can see here for bronze, you don't require anything at bronze 3, no SPS. At bronze 2, once you hit a rating of 400, this 40.26 SPS requirement doesn't mean you have to have the SPS or you're not going to earn anything. It just means this, from my understanding, this means this is the amount that you need to have staked to earn the same amount of reward shares that you're currently earning. And then at bronze one, um, 700 rating, you need about 455 SPS staked. Now I had well over that and it's funny, just, just before this went uh, live yesterday, uh, the day before, I had purchased uh, my first Rift Watcher pack, and I actually used um, a couple hundred of my SPS and a voucher to buy it, um, not knowing that this announcement, of course, was going to happen in the next day. So I'm currently sitting at about 367 SPS, and I'm really not too worried about this chart at all. Um, it's not going to take me that long to get back to the 455, um, simply because of two things. One is Guild Brawls. So the Guild Brawl that I'm in right now is going to end uh, pretty soon. And I just want to show you the amount of SPS that uh, I will receive. So if you click here on Brawl Rewards, uh, currently it shows that when this Brawl is over and it's six and a half hours, I'm going to earn 20 to 21 SPS. So that is basically, uh, what, 44 to 46 cents, somewhere in there. So this isn't a guarantee every week. I mean, it depends on how our guild does, but it's a pretty good average. Actually, this is a little bit higher than what we have been getting. But still, you figure if I'm going to get 15 to 20 SPS a week just for participating in the guild brawl, uh, plus I'm using Splinter Forge to supplement that income. Um, earlier today, I had, I think it was 10,700 Forge on uh, my alt account, Gedfer. Sent that over to Hive Engine, converted that into some DEC, and I also converted that into uh, my fourth uh, Cast Legion pack that we're going to go ahead and open right now. So going forward, um, really not a whole lot is going to change on this account. Um, I'm still going to play Splinter Forge. I'm still going to play my rank battles in Splinterlands, and when the uh, SPS staking goes live. We'll see what tweaks are done along the way. Um, just so everyone knows, the staking is not going to take place according uh, to the town hall. They want to get this ready by the end of next quarter, not this quarter. So this quarter ends the end of June. It's next quarter. So by the end of September is when this is going to go live. So you still have time. And like I said, it's not like, like for me, my main account's in Silver 1. I don't have 11,200 SPS. I think I have like 73, 7,400. So I've got time to build this up to get the same reward shares. Now, another thing this means is if a lot of people don't do this, um, what's going to happen is, uh, it's, let's see, how is the best way to word that? If, if a majority of the players don't reach this threshold, Basically, the amount of SPS that you're going to be getting in each chest is probably going to be higher because there's going to be fewer people getting fewer chests. So the amount in each chest will go up, if that makes any sense, at least from my understanding. But I'm not stressed about it. Um, still going to continue to play. And like I said, it, we've got time to build up our SPS um, until that goes live. Um, I think a lot of players, including myself, are not going to be selling off any SPS. We're going to be uh, accumulating it. Through our rank battles, um, we're going to be accumulating it through guild brawls. Um, and also, like I said, and I've been trying to preach this for months and months, go to Splinter Forge, play your games every day, get some Forge, and convert it to SBS. Like I said, I have a member of, the, um, member of my channel that has been doing this for the last few months. He says he has four accounts, and he went from 1,000 SPS to 16,000. And that's just converting all of his Forgium to SPS. So it can be done, and it can be done basically at no cost other than your time at playing Splinter Forge. 
So I just want everyone to just kind of relax, take a deep breath, and and not get too stressed about uh, something that may not be as bad as everyone uh, looks at at first glance. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this pack. Let's see what we get. Starting with a Hill Giant. Going to an Antoid Platoon. Good card. So a rare. Another rare. So we'll save the rares for the end. Silent Chevy. Love this card. I think I actually did purchase this in gold because I wanted to get that 10% bonus because I use this all the time. Tarsa. All right. Awesome. Second Tarsa. So great to get a summoner. Anti-Mage. So this is a card I use a lot in Splinter Forge. So very happy with that pack. Now let's go ahead and let's actually go to the market. Um, I've got about 1300 DEC. So 1300 DEC, DEC, what a thousand is about 82 cents. <clears throat> so we've got some funds. Let's go ahead and look. So I have two Tarsus now. I have one Thaddeus Brood that I'd love to get to level two. But I'm looking at this guy, General Sloan at 50 cents. And Obsidian is under a dollar. So the question is, do I get one General Sloan? I think I work on Thaddeus Brood. I really want to get this to level two. So at 78 cents, that's going to cost me 940 of my DEC. Or... General Sloan. Oh, he's 70 cents. So look at that. On the market, it shows 50, but he's actually going for 70. Okay, so that made my decision a lot easier. We're definitely going with Thaddeus Brood. Because I want to get him to level 2 so that I won't have to rent, uh, rent him anymore. So this will be my second copy of Thaddeus Brood. So we now have two Thaddeus Broods, two Tarsas. So I just need three more of each, or somehow get super lucky uh, when I get my next Chaos Pack and get a Gold Summoner, which will automatically be level two. So let's go ahead and look at Owned, look at Chaos Legion, look at Core, look at Summoners. So yep, so I now have two Thaddeus Broods, two Tarsas, that level two Kelia, and we're slowly building up the collection. Uh, what else did I get? Time Mage. So I've got my second Time Mage, so happy with that. And Commons. Got a ways to go before I level any of them up. Um, like I said a while ago, when I was first building up this account over the last few months, my main focus was to get at least one copy of each Common, so I went ahead and did that. Um, a couple of the rare, or a couple of the gold cards I purchased that I used a lot. Like Cruel Cethropod and Silent Shafia used a lot. I'm not sure why I got these two. I think they were cheap at the time. Um, I usually don't play the Life Splinter, but um, at level 3, it got the uh, Void. And Stitch Leech is just overall a good card. And I think at level 3, it got the second attack. So that's the reason I got those. So still, hopefully, slowly I can build up the golds on this account. Um, if I can get lucky and purchase them or get them in drops in my Chaos Packs. So, like I said, guys, going forward, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm still going to be uh, renting as little as possible, uh, competing in bronze. Um, main focus is probably to try to get my rating as close to 1,000 as I can for my daily battles. Um, that way, you know, I can get a decent amount of uh, reward shares and chess. Um, didn't really play yesterday at all, so still working on beginning of the new season. I'm getting my rating back up into the 700 range, you know, trying to get to bronze one so I can get some chess, but not too worried about this chart and the staking requirements. Like I said, it's going to be at least three months, probably two and a half, three months before this goes live. We've got tons of time to build our bags. And even if you're not hitting this amount, that doesn't mean you're not going to earn. You might just be earning slightly less reward shares than what you're used to currently which is, you know, is not that big of a deal, I don't think. So let's not stress about it. Let's just wait until it happens and see how it goes. Until then, like I said, for the $10 account, keep playing Splinter Forge, keep playing the Bronze Boss. Um, I usually can earn at least 600 Forge Gym a day just from fighting the Bronze Boss. That does not include leaderboard rewards. 
Uh, so right now on the leaderboards, I think I was in the top. I usually end up somewhere in the top 50. So this is my main account. Actually, I think my alt account is actually higher than that. Yep, Gedfer right now is sitting at 43. So just leaderboard rewards as of now, I'm planning on staying in the top 50. It's going to be over 4,000 Forge. So 4,000 Forge is like 88 cents, 90 cents, somewhere in that range. So just by playing this for, you know, a few days, usually the boss dies within three days, four days. If I can get 90 some cents, you know, you go look at the market, that gets me a summoner, you know. You know, that's going to get me a 70 cent General Sloan, Tarsa, um, may even be able to get a uh, Obsidian. Yep. So I'll be able to get an obsidian. So we'll slowly be able to get these summoners so I don't have to rent them simply by playing Splinter Forge. So I can't overemphasize this enough, guys. Especially, you know, like for me playing on a limited budget. Just consistently play this, you know, every day. Get your Forgium. Go to Hive. You know, swap it on over, as you can see. Swap the Forge for a Chaos Pack. Swap the Forge for DEC. And it's a great way you can earn at little or no cost. So... Hope this helps you guys. Like I said, just relax, um, enjoy the Splinterlands journey, um, keep playing Splinter Forge, and slow and steady, guys. Build your account and have fun along the way. Okay, guys, take care.